are police. Uh, oh, the police are protesting? No, no, no. The police are, are guarding this monument, which is the monument to the victims okay. of the crash. Uh, but because the crash was used politically, there are counter protesters which put these cartons over there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so it's a uh, like intensely political affair here, to put it short. Uh, you have the government side and the law enforcement here, and there are some people who um, basically don't like the fact that this crash was politicized and that there were suggestions that the government at the time even worked with the Russians to bring that plane down. So, yeah. Okay. It, it, it is pretty dirty, really. All right, so something happened on September 11th in which the president of this... No, 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 10th or, April. 10th of, of April, those, okay. 10th of April, but on every 10th of whichever month after that crash there were political demonstrations over here. And well, basically until the people who organized them got into power. Uh, these people who put, so the opponents of the current government who put this, this thing here, well, they believe that it was a um, hugely unfair political and uh, on this side you can see that um, where is the report? There is this question, where is the report? Because the government minister promised to bring the truth. Uh, to reveal the truth about the plane crash. Well, he suggested basically that there was something something sinister, some kind of plot, uh, and that the Polish government at the time, the liberal government, was involved and perhaps together with Mr. Vladimir Putin, which was completely nuts. Well, this report never happened, so uh, there is this sentence over there, where is the report? Show us the report, you moron, or something like that, to loosely translate that. So. Um, well, sorry to bring you into this deep shit of Polish politics. No, this is good. This is interesting. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, as much as it is dirty, really. It's okay. Yeah. And <laughs> this should never be happening. I mean, we've got uh, hundreds of police here guarding this monument. From whom? <laughs> there is no one here. <laughs> there are just people like you or me who are taking photos. It's it's basically kind of the uh, optics type of deal going on. So they show up for for people with a camera like me, or yeah, they just show up because you know there are people who are angry about all this stuff, uh, hate the monument because they believe it's a political statement and should never be here. Uh, in in this place, well over there you've got the tomb of the unknown soldier. You have to go there. Over there. That's it. Where you see the soldiers there inside that arcades. Um, that's the tomb of the unknown soldier. And you know, to put this monument here, right next to it, basically would suggest that these people died in some kind of war. Whereas it was a plane crash. I mean, well, uh, the people in the government believe really, uh, something else. So that's what it is. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I hope I, I probably messed up everything uh, and it wasn't very clear what I was saying. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty good start. I, I could go uh, go home and look this up. Yeah, 10th of April 2010, the presidential plane crash. And this mm -hmm. is uh, ironically or mockingly called to the stairway to heaven by the opponents, of course, of the monument. Mm -hmm. You have this stairway to heaven from cartons now as well, put up by the opponents of the official story it actually was never presented in the form of any report, even though it was promised. So, yep. Uh, quite shitty affair, to be honest. Uh, a plane crash that was used for political purposes. Uh, and yeah, uh, you can read up on this if you want. On every time something like that. Why is there so much police here on top of September? Is, has it got any relation to 11 September anniversary tomorrow? I have no idea really. Yeah. Um, but apparently it's some kind of demonstration of strength here. Um, I'm surprised as you are. I do appreciate that exploration though. Okay, cool. I hope that's... Um, 
Pamiętam, nie pan nie ma. Tak, pamiętam. Nie ma. 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 So, did you ask the brother to land? Um, the plane crash happened because the plane landed in really bad weather in the fog. They were going to the uh, to commemorations of um, victims of cutting crime, where uh, Polish uh, officers were murdered, about 20,000 of them by Soviets. So they really wanted to be at these commemorations, and there are suggestions which have never been proven actually that. The brother of the president, the president was Lech Kaczynski, he died in the plane crash. Mm -hmm. And that the brother of the president, Jarosław Kaczynski, who is number one politician in Poland, that he asked by phone uh, the president to land at all costs. Uh, and, well, that's why. Did you, did you ask your brother to land? Uh, yeah. So, just to explain what, what is happening here. Gotcha. Yeah. Stanowczością mogę powiedzieć, że taka postawa wymagała raczej wielkiej odwagi. Autor, major Grzegorz Pietruczuk. Prezydent nie rozumiał stanowiska pilota i był poirytowany całą sytuacją. Autor, minister Maciej Łupiński. Prezydent zadzwoni do mnie i... Oh, okay. <laughs> English. 